Many people have believed that success is a matter of being in the right place at the right time. And I think there's a, probably a grain of truth in that. But get this. you got to be aware that you're in the right place at the right time. If you're not aware that you're in the right place at the right time, it ain't going to happen. So what we're talking about here is awareness. Now, I see seven different levels of awareness here. It goes from an animalistic state to mastery. So let's, let's look at this and let's relate it to our own life. In an animalistic state, you're going to react to everything. When you master this, uh, this situation, when you're in control of you, you respond. You do not react. Let's take a look at the reactive state. That is the little child. That is the little baby. When they react, it's fight or flight. That's what they're going to do. It's either fight or run. Same situation happens, but a person's responding. What do they do? They think and they plan. Now, down at the bottom is where we start out. Up at the top is where we sure hope to be. There's the little child, and the little child now is old enough. They're up and running around. And what do we do? We say, go on out and be like the rest of the kids. In other words, follow the masses. Let them help develop your paradigm. That's what you're doing. Now, the child has this genetic strain in them that's a paradigm. They're genetically programmed the moment of conception. Now, they're moving out into a bigger world, and they're going to follow the masses. Yeah, they do that for a period of time, but then they aspire to something greater. They have a desire for something greater. We all do this. We all move into this. Every time we go to do that, every time we go to step ahead, that damn paradigm pulls us back. Every time, it pulls us back. You say, I'm going to go there, and the paradigm pulls us back. This goes on over and over. We don't know what's happening. We don't understand any of this. I go to do it, and I can't do it. Then you hear, listen, if you discipline yourself, discipline is the ability to give yourself a command and then follow it. I am never going to pick that up again. Well, this person learns that if they just discipline themselves and they say, I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. I don't care what happens. I'm just going to go ahead. And that paradigm tries to pull you back. And you see the discipline dissipates. It just folds up and goes away. And we find out that it wasn't discipline. It was nothing but a wish. I wish this could happen. I wish that could happen. And bam. We're stuck again. Over and over and over. We're stuck. Now, what do we have to do? We've got to become more aware. We've got to become aware of what's happening. Discipline is very real. And I think that's the best definition of discipline that you're going to find. Best one I've ever found. It is the ability to give ourselves a command and then follow it. Wants and discipline need to be connected. If you're really going to make it happen, the wants and discipline had to be connected. When you go to do this, and you find, when you find that that discipline starts to fade, you've got to say, no way. Absolutely not. And when it starts to appear that it's a wish, say, no, I am not going to give in. This I am going to do. And you bring the discipline back in. And you say, I'm going to be in control of me. I am not going to let the paradigm control me anymore. And what do you do? You took the idea and you acted on it. And when you acted on that new idea, the whole world started to shift. All those things started to change. And lo and behold, you are in control of you. You exercise the discipline. You gave yourself a command and you follow it. You are in control of you. And my God, you feel so good. When you give yourself a command and follow it, you will feel something that you won't get any other way. You can't buy it. Nobody can give it to you. It's something only you can do. It is such a beautiful thing. Wow. Wow.